Hello, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. As you can see, I am casting a, another Planetary Annihilation match. This is your host, Mr. Studio Girl of Steel Speaks. I am casting a match between, let's see who they are. It is Elodia and Battle Bear. And I do love that name, Battle Bear. And here spawns in the players. Boom, baby, I choose to introduce Elodia first. Here he is with his Nemecus Commander. He is spawning as the Red Nemecus Commander, doing a Bot Factory opener, queuing up a Mex, and it looks like a move order over there, more a rally point for his bots. Let's see how his opponent is doing, and what a queue! He is the Grey Delta Commander. It is Battle Bear, and I love that name. That is such a cool name. He opened up with a Bot Factory, going to be doing another bot factory but right after that metal extractor very very cool i am going to keep a view on this guy let's see i am going to make a second screen no it's not that button it is this one there we go let's zoom in on one of the players on this one i am going to keep an eye on battle bear in the small screen and on the big screen i'm going to keep an eye on Elodia, who is, I'm going to hold shift down so everyone can see what's happening. Very cool. So this is a lava world. I believe it is called Crossback. And as you can see, here is a little choke point going into Elodia, Elodia's ba base in a choke point. The other choke point, as I should say. And I believe the same thing applies to Battle Bear. Ooh, look at this. In uh, Battle Bear's territory, maybe that's neutral territory for the moment. And then there's another choke point. I think it would be wise to keep an eye on the choke points. I think there's going to be a battle here in the main screen. Three bots versus a large group of bots. I think Battle Bear would be wise to back away from that one. And I think... Oh, oh, little Fractar going on in both of the screens. Battle Bear took out a... I missed everything. That was really dumb. Luckily, I got the Chrono Cam and I could back up. So, yeah, I was cheating. Whatever. But that bot gets... That bot, those bots get murdered. That's a pretty decent pickup there for Elodia. But let's see what's going on in home base for Battle Bear. He has what looks like a vehicle factory. I like that. And a little Fractar going on at this choke point. And it appears that uh, Battle Bear's units get wiped out once again. What is... Elodia making. He is going to be spamming. Looks like he's making an air factory and spamming out uh, vehicle factories. Very, very, very cool. I like that choice of action, but another little battle here in the Fractor. Let's take a look at those explosions as they go. Boom! Those poor little ducks just went pop. And it appears Battle Bear has some planes too. I do enjoy that. And it looks like Elodia is getting a scout run. Let's see how far that gets. Not too far before they run into uh, Battle Bear's fighter planes. And an energy spam. I think I like the looks of that. That's going to allow for lots of energy. And that bot, that bot raid was taken care of quite quickly. Elodia is expanding. That is a very, very wise decision. Very smart. I like it. Very good. Looks like they are chilling, just staring at each other. So I'm going to look at Battle Bear's base over here. He is not expanding quite as aggressively, but he is. He does have some expansions queued up. He has definitely got a power farm going on, which I think is not a bad idea whatsoever. A nice little scout run going coming in from Elodia. He knows that Battle Bear is spamming the 
the vehicle factories. A slight battle is happening over here that's going to be taken out by that bomber. Those poor little ducks just did not see that one coming. And that tank, wow. I like bombers. I indeed like bombers, but that bomber just lost its life due to those fighters. What are those called again? Ah, the hummingbirds. And Battle Bear certainly has a better force going into that. And I have it on both screens, which I don't think is smart. Here we go. Very nice. Holding down shift to see cues. Looks like this is going to be a fight here. That bumblebee gets shot out of the sky. Those ducks are coming in to reinforce that that Bolo Brigade. And Elodia wisely backs up to use the choke point to his advantage. They look like they have even numbers, but I think Elodia has a, maybe a little more tanks. Let's take a look at the army counts. Elodia has 86, and Battle Bear is uh, about 10 more at that snapshot in time. And ooh, a bombing run. Let's take a look at that. All oh, those docks are not having a good day. And this battle rages on. I apologize for missing that, but guess what? 15 seconds earlier. Booyah! We could see it. We don't have to miss a thing. Thank you, Uber Entertainment, for such an awesome tool. I love it. And it looks like Elodia's getting the, uh, the adva advantage here. It's hard to tell right now, but oh! Oh, it looks like Elodia does have the advantage, just like I said, but he he backs out because it appears Battle Bear reinforced, which was the wise decision. And it appears here Elodia is pushing in there with about one bomber is causing some trouble, but it's quickly taken out by that by Battle Bear's hummingbird. And more bombers coming out. Oh, they're not going to go very get very far little battle going on here. This battle is happening everywhere. I like this. This is a action-packed match. These choke points are create no man's lands. No men's lands, excuse me for my terrible grammar. And those bombers are putting in some work there. Well, maybe not that much work. I just wanted to say putting in work. So, I'm sorry, nothing really. Those, uh, bolos remain they're tanks come on bombers aren't going to kill tanks in one pass and this is going to be a nice little battle this little engagement those ducks might want to skirt around the side that would be my opinion but a nice little bolo engagement i believe elodia again has the advantage here i mean it would be nice to see some bombers come overhead From Battle Bear, yes, and Battle Bear does have a bomber. I hope it comes here to help out because he does have air superiority in the area. The bomber would at least get one pass due to that commander just hanging out there with his lovely anti-air. Those ducks somehow shoot at air. I don't know. That's a little overpowered in my opinion. Now the bomber may not be a great idea now that... Elodia has pulled his own air force into the mix, but they're going around probably for a scout. Let's take a look at what they could see. Oh, a teleporter! I'm sorry everyone for missing that, but a teleporter is going up. And metal storage and some energy storage, which is uh, not a bad bad thing if you want to go into uh, to advanced. And I like this. Elodia's forward base. That's going to allow him to reinforce much faster. That's definitely going to play a factor in this game here. And that bomber definitely got one pass off. Didn't really do too much damage, but it definitely... It, it hurt. It hurt a little bit. And look at Battle Bear over here pushing in while there is a fight going on here. Lodia needs to be very careful with his forces because they are running thin. I like that he's reinforcing, and I like that he's making some Infernos to be a little more tanky, especially since he's pushing into enemy territory. There's a bat this battle's happening in both spots, and I think uh, 
maybe Battle Bear has a better amount of units, but I think Elodie has a better position. Let's see who... I, I think I'm gonna watch... I don't know which one to watch. But it looks like, yes, Battle Bear, like I said, on this one, has definitely, definitely has more units. And Battle Bear needs to reinforce. If he doesn't reinforce, he's going to definitely not have a good day. Back to this battle here on this side of Battle Bear's base. I like the concave here. That's going to definitely... Oh, Elodia. Maybe that concave wasn't so good. But he's wisely, wisely backing up. And I think here, Battle Bear's that platoon just got wiped out as well. But he's bringing in some reinforcements. Those reinforcements should have come much, much sooner. Elodia definitely has a better, a better, better looking army right here. And let's see, which one is more interesting? Either way, I could rewind. It doesn't matter. Battle Bear's units on the small screen are getting wiped out, I just as I thought would happen, because that reinforced a little bit slow. But I don't think it's worth rewinding. If anyone has any disagreements, feel free to shoot me a comment. But be nice about it, because I'm really getting tired of uh, comments saying, You should have done this! Well, maybe you should get your own videos. Anyhow, I'm only joking around. Positive, constructive feedback is always welcome as long as it's done in a constructive manner. And, oh, that Inferno just got annihilated. I like the kiting there. That was a very good move. And battle... Oh, a sneaky, sneaky little vehicle factory right here. I, I, Glodia, you are a sneak with that single laser defense turret. That's really cool. And the, there's a teleporter's done. That is going to play a factor. Little air engagement right here, and Battle Bear looks like is coming out on top of that air engagement. And Elodia pulls his air out. That was a wise decision. That bomber gets shot out of... Battle Bear's bomb, bomber gets shot out of the sky. And if I was Battle Bear, I would definitely bring the commander in and uber cannon these units. One uber cannon could definitely make a difference here. Let's check and see what's happening here. It looks like those units back took out that single laser defense tower and said, Ah, we need to defend, our defend the motherland! I'm just kidding. The red guy is Elodia, who would, that would be more applicable to. And I think this spot is going to get ran over by Elodia because uh, there's not a lot of forces here. Dox is, Dox, Doxi versus Bolos. Uh, Bolos win. Unless there's a lot of Dox. So back to the main battle. That is quite lovely. I... Oh, what an anti-air. A skitter. Is that a skitter? A spinner. A spinner. That's what they're called. And I don't... Oh. Battle Bear has to make a decision here. I would definitely get that commander in there. Is he going to uber cannon? Please uber cannon. Right now. Yes! There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Beautiful uber cannon. And he... And Battle Bear plops down a single laser defense turret. That is nice. That is very, very cool. Somebody complained about me saying nice all the time. That is not nice. That is excellent. Um, it was nice. I'm playing. I think it's very good as well. An Uber Cannon? Yes, I love the Uber Cannon. It's so beautiful. It's nice. Very, very cool fireworks there. And a teleporter. Where is that teleporter going? I think that doesn't really matter because at this moment it doesn't look Battle Bear is going to be having a good time. A double laser defense tower, a normal laser defense tower as you would call it, that won't last long. Those infernos are very nice and tanky. That army is going, I think it's going for the power grid. I think that would be the wise decision. I think the uh, split screen would do nicely over here. I don't think much is going to happen in that vicinity. Let's take a quick look. And then that ping goes down for no reason. Alright, come on calm action, but I think this is a little more interesting. That power grid is being utterly annihilated. That is never fun to see. 
little com fractar going on here. And it looks like, oh, I'm going to go back a couple, some, some time here. See if he built that laser defense tower. That was the old one, wasn't it? Yes, that was. And I just wasted all your time. So we're going to go forward in time where we were. I apologize, everyone. Let's go back one more 15. That looks more like it. And those, those bumblebees are just... I mean, hummingbirds are just getting shot out of the sky by that commander and those spinners. And a single laser defense tower behind the wall. I would have... I would definitely... That's not a bad idea, but you are... He is getting... Oh, nice super cannon. He is getting overwhelmed. Let's see what's happening in back. Little fight happening here. But I think the main screen should definitely be right here where Battle Bear is just getting ran over. If I was Battle Bear, I would pull up and start attacking Nemecus Commander and maybe delete my commander as soon as the Nemecus Commander has less lower health. Or I would just follow him around until I blew up next to him. Hopefully taking him with me. And uh, Battle Bear's base in the small screen is just getting annihilated. And, oh, and I think... Battle Bear just deleted his commander. He just said, I've been beaten. GG. So, and, oh, it looks like a, there's a little, a, a, a dirty little teleporter in the backside of uh, Battle Bear's base. I think that would have been very nice. Let's see when it was built. Let's go back sometime. And there it is being built somewhere in around the 15, 16, 1540 mark. And those bumble, those hummingbirds take out those air fabs. Wow. I didn't even see that happening, but I'm glad I checked it out. So let's go forward to when uh, Battle, Battle Bear goes boom. I just want to see that again. I, I like you, Battle Bear. I've played you before, and you just gave, you just beat me senseless. You're an excellent player. It's okay if you lose, but let's just take a look at that lovely explosion. I am... Waiting in with bated breath. Boom! I love it. I think that is one beautiful explosion. I mean, I just... I really enjoy calm explosions. Especially when it's not me. And that's kind of a rude little single laser tower push. But, you know, it's not a bad, I not a bad idea. I think that's great. I'm going to check out the army just annihilating the... Uh, Battle Bear's base in the main screen, and... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I think we should go back a little bit further. All right. Here it is getting blown up. I'm going to keep Battle Bear in the main focus here. In the little screen. And check out the explosions of his base. It's just getting... There is nothing he could do. That factory is going to go pop. Boom! I love the Chrono Cam. It's it's lovely, and that power grid is just getting annihilated. And there he goes there on the small screen. Very cool. I enjoy that. So let's check that out one more time to end with a major bang. Sorry, Battle Bear. I don't mean to rub it in, but I just love boom explosions, and I think my viewers do too. Beautiful. Fluorescent blue. I love it. Well, anyhow, Battle Bear, you're an excellent player. GG, you did well. And it appears your enemy, Elodia, don't feel bad. He's one of the top players. And there's a Commander Corpse. I do like that. That is a super cool feature with this game, a Commander Corpse. Anyhow, Elodia was an excellent player, so don't feel bad. You played very well. This is a tough map with those two choke points into each other's bases. GG, everyone. Well played, Elodia. Well played, Battle Bear. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Be sure to hit like and be sure to subscribe to me because there will be more Planetary Annihilation matches, Forge Alliance Forever matches, as well as Supreme Commander 2. And if you want a Total Annihilation match, you need to send me a replay. If you want anything casted, send it to Jill's... Wow, Jill Speaks. I'm not Jill. Steelspeaks at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from all of you. Thank you very much, and have a fantastic day. And as always, GG!